Hi, this is Matt, the bald guy. We are at the Green Bridge Memorial in Kennewick, Washington, next to the Lanson office building and the Cable Bridge, and sort of close to the Blue Bridge. It is officially known as the Benton Franklin Intercounty Bridge. So let's talk about the quote unquote Green Bridge. It's known as the Green Bridge because of its color, but officially it can be known as the Paso Kennewick or the Benton Franklin Intercounty Bridge. A few key takeaways. There's a lot of information to go through. However, I will provide a link to the source that I used for this video. Before we get into that, here is where the bridge would have crossed the river, standing next what we know as the Cable Bridge. Okay, here we go. On October 21st, 1922, the bridge was commissioned. It was dedicated. The structure spans the Columbia River between Pasco and Franklin County and Kennewick and Benton County. It carries the Inland Empire Highway, one of Washington's mo main cross-state highways across the river. In 1913, B.B. Corrigan, representative from Franklin County, appropriated money to investigate the feasibility of building a bridge at this location. Unfortunately, momentum for the project died after the survey was complete. It wasn't until 1919 when Charles G. Huber of the Union Bridge Company started a movement to complete the project. That dream would finally become a reality in just 13 months. He sold enough stock to finance the bridge. Union Bridge Company of Seattle was the prime contractor and M.M. Caldwell, its lead designer. Groundbreaking took place on the Pasco side, March 15, 1921. The Pasco Kennewick Bridge was a long span steel trussel cantilever bridge that was 3,300 feet long with a 1,410 feet of steel and more than a million board feet of timber in the decking and approaches. The bridge cleared high water by 54 feet and the top part of its the tip through truss loomed 185 feet above the water. The pit tip truss refers to the particular configuration of the struts make up the truss a through truss is tied both above and below the traffic. In 1978, the bridge we know as the Cable Bridge would come to replace this bridge. It's officially known as the Ed Hendler Intercity Bridge. It's very fascinating, the history of the Green Bridge. And I'm sure a lot of the old timers in Tri-Cities may have pictures or even stories of this bridge. I would love for you guys to comment on this video and provide your memories to share with all of us. I shared as much information I felt as I could in a short video and I will provide the link to more information. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.